3D fluorescence tomography. Available on Perkin Elmer's FMT, IVIS Spectrum, and IVIS Spectrum CT preclinical in vivo imaging instruments. 3D fluorescence tomography is an optical imaging modality that allows the user to determine the position and quantity of a fluorescent source in vivo. The benefits of 3D fluorescence tomography over traditional 2D planar fluorescence include the ability to detect deeper fluorescent sources, improved localization of functional biology, quantitation of fluorophore concentration or cell number count, and co-registration with other imaging modalities such as MR, PET, SPECT and CT. The first step to 3D fluorescence tomography is to define the surface topography of the animal. Depending on the instrument, different methods are used to determine these surface reconstructions. The FMT uses 2D photographic images to approximate the boundaries of the animal and ultrasound to determine the height of the animal, which are combined to be built up into a 3D surface. The spectrum uses a laser galvanometer to obtain a structured light contour map of the animal, which is then translated into a surface reconstruction. And the Spectrum CT uses a low-dose CT scan to quickly obtain the surface shell reconstruction of the animal. All of Perkin Elmer's systems use single-view multiple-point transillumination raster scanning to collect data that are used to reconstruct the fluorescent source. In transillumination raster scanning, a light source moves from point to point, exciting the animal from below, which produces fluorescence emission data that can be detected from above. Each source detector pair provides a different view of information on the location of the fluorescent signal. Using software algorithms based on complex tissue diffusion properties to combine these source detector pairs along with the surface topography, the instrument is able to reconstruct the position of the fluorescent signal. For good 3D reconstructions, the instrument needs as many independent excitation and emission paths as possible. In fact, a single view from the top combined with raster scanning excitation provides good fluorescence sensitivity for most cases. Additional views can add incremental reconstruction information for specific cases, for example, along the sides of the animal, but will limit instrument throughput and flexibility. Side view mirrors for multi-view imaging are available with all of Perkin Elmer's IVIS systems. The mirrors help with reconstructing more complicated fluorescent sources, as with this example, where two fluorescent sources are located directly on top of one another. With a single view, only one source can be imaged and reconstructed, but with the help of mirrors, the IVIS system is able to discern and localize both sources in the reconstruction. In addition to data on the localization of a fluorescent source, 3D fluorescence tomography allows for the quantitation of fluorophore concentration or cell number count based on a defined region of interest. To do this, a calibration process must be employed to calculate a calibration factor that is used to relate the concentration of a fluorophore to its fluorescent signal intensity. In the FMT, this is done by measuring known concentrations of fluorophore using a rectangular phantom that approximates the light absorption and scattering process in tissue. In the IVIS system, a well-plate standard curve based on known cell number counts or concentrations of fluorophore is used. Both methods result in a linear relationship relating concentration of fluorophore to signal intensity. The components of 3D fluorescence tomography, surface topography reconstruction, transillumination, and calibration are what make in vivo longitudinal quantitative fluorescence studies possible. In this example, SCOV3 tumor-bearing female skid beige mice were injected IV with 40 micrograms of her 2 cent 645 agent and imaged at 5, 24, and 48 hours thereafter on the IVIS spectrum. By measuring fluorescence intensity at each time point, her 2 cents agent concentration at the site of the tumor was calculated showing an increase in tumor fluorescence over time. A parallel study was done in the FMT with similar results. For more information about 3D fluorescence tomography offered by Perkin Elmer, please visit our website at www.perkinelmer.com.